Hi, this is Info Puppet. Today I'm going to do a review of Photoshop Elements 11. So you might want to check this out and see if you think it might be worth upgrading to Photoshop Elements 11. And I'm also going to show you an incredible 3D effect that you're going to love. You'll be able to do this whether you have Photoshop Elements 11 or not. So, here it comes. Check it out. My brand new Photoshop Elements tutorial. So Photoshop Elements 11 is open up and wow it looks kind of different and well, first thing I notice is wait a minute where's the toolbar there's only like five tools here what the heck is going on I can't work with this why do I listen to info puppet how can I do Elements 11 there's only five tools no way oh well um, the reason why is you gotta click on expert and there they all are all that you've grown to learn and love, like the straighten tool, and the recompose tool, and the crop tool, and the horizontal type tool, pencil tool is new, custom shape tool, paint bucket, they're all there. So relax. Just relax. Everything's gonna be fine. I love quick. Click on quick and check out these new features on the right hand side. Now let's show you how you work. Yeah, open up an image, and then they'll brighten up, and this is smart fix. Um, it's got nine presets, and you can see how it's changing the image, but it's really easy to throw an image in there. Go to Smart Fix, select one of the nine presets, or click on Auto, and watch this. Boom! It's all done for you automatically with Photoshop Elements 11. I love it. Now, if you don't like the nine presets or Auto, you can go to the slider here and adjust it the way you want. Well, you can also go down to Exposure. Again, it has nine presets. And you can work on the exposure if it was a little bit too long. You can turn it up a little bit. And uh, there's your slider also right there. And now levels. And you've got uh, shadows, midtones, and highlights. And we're just working on shadows right now. But, you know, again, nine presets. And, um, and of course, it's got some auto levels and auto contrast at the bottom, which is great. And now I'm at saturation, U and also vibrance and with nine presets or a slider and you can do a lot here this is so easy i love what photoshop elements is done i just clicked on auto and now we're into temperature and tint and temperature is really how warm your image is and of course the blue makes it colder and sliding it over to the right makes it hotter and now we're in sharpen and again the thing that's great about this is it's got all these auto buttons where, hey, if you don't know anything about any of this stuff, just click through and hit auto, auto, auto. All right, now let's look at Guy. This is even better. I'm going to go through this fast, but out of bounds. I love out of bounds. This is the 3D effect I'm telling you about. This is incredible. Now, I'm going to click on number one, add a frame. Now, all I have to do is resize the frame to the way I like. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. I want to make sure her hands are sticking out of the square, and then I'm going to click on the green check mark. Okay, and move. And now, another square is here, and this is going to be determining the width of my frame, and I just left it where it is, so that's what my frame is going to look like. Now to get into 3D, I go to number 2, makes it very easy, step-by-step -step instructions here, selection tool. And now we're going to select the selection tool, and uh, if it's on subtract, you're not going to be able to select anything, it's going to subtract from the selection, so you have to make sure it's on add. And now I just want to, you really supposed to, what you're doing here is selecting what's going to be outside of the frame. So really, I'm, I'm a little bit inside, but that's okay. Mainly, I need the hands only to be outside of my white frame. So now I'm going to click on Out of Bounds Effect. This is where it gets really cool. Look at that! Isn't that awesome? I love it. It's a 3D effect, Photoshop Elements 11. And uh, finally, you can click on number 4, which is Add Gradient Background. This little new layer opens up. And look at that! Oh, doesn't that look great? It's a gradient background now. And lastly, you can go down to Add Shadow, and there's some uh, preset drop shadows that'll go on the entire image. Well, anyways, the frame and what's sticking out of the image. And there you go. Three presets. There's one, and here's another one. Well, I think I like uh, this one. Okay. 
So I'm telling you, Photoshop Elements 11 is awesome. It's very easy, and I gotta tell you guys, this is part one. I'm gonna show you even more simple tricks you can do in Photoshop Elements 11 in my next video. But right now, I wanna show you, I told you that anybody can do this whether you own Photoshop Elements 11 or not, and this is why. You can get a free trial of Photoshop Elements 11 by going to Google and typing in Adobe Downloads, and then selecting Adobe Downloads. And you're going to get the Adobe Downloads page, and you're going to go down to the lower right-hand corner, Adobe Photoshop Elements 11, click on Try. This is um, a free 30-day trial. Hey, give it a shot. It doesn't cost any money. It's fully featured, Photoshop Elements 11. Um, like I said, if you don't know Photoshop Elements 11, do the free trial. You can still do the effect. Oh, did I mention that you can click on one of these videos to see one more of my tutorials? in Photoshop Element 10. Thanks for watching from Info Puppet.